I'm Chris Berman. Coming up on ESPN. 32 teams kick things off back in September, each having this game as their ultimate goal. Only two teams remain. By the end of the evening, one team will stand alone as champions of the National Football League. The hype is over. It's time to play some football. The Super Bowl just moments away. Chiefs, Eagles, next. Greetings from Tempe, Arizona, home of Super Bowl 42, here on ESPN. I'm Dan Steven. As always, I'm with Peter O'Keefe, and Peter, the excitement in the air here is unbelievable. You got that right. It's what everybody's been waiting for. Dick Vermeil has to be happy with how his team responded to the question he posed at the beginning of the year, can we win it all? Andy Reid is as focused as I've ever seen him. He knows that it all comes down to this one single game, and he has put all of his energies into it. The U.S. Air Force Precision Flying Team. And the Super Bowl is about to get underway. Let's go to the coin toss. On one side, two helmets, that will be head. On the other side, the official Super Bowl logo, that will be tail. Go with tails. It's heads. Sanders gets. Sanders gets the call again and runs into trap. Number 15 sacks him way back at the 34. Number 87 catches this run and he's looking for room. On this play, it's ridiculous, Dan. Was the defense even on the. Finally popped out of bounds. It's where the ball is going and clamps down that second. <laughs> Number seven with the 45-yard attempt. Wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 32-yard line. Smith catches the bullet out left and is at the 30 by touchdown. So his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't. Number 10 takes his fourth carry of the game. He saw nothing happening, so he decides to scramble for it. And he turns in a pretty success. Number 15 throws a big. Number 87 pulls down the lob and he's in for the score. The catch here with three defenders on his tail. I'll tell you, I was not expecting that pass at all. I wonder if he knew. Number one throws a bullet to the... Number 15 has the arm to get this pass in the air despite throwing it off the wrong foot. Let's see that again. Oh, he connects anyway. That's a little bit of luck and a whole lot of skill. Six. Eventually shoved out. <laughs> Number 10 gets the toss and runs into traffic. Dodges a tackle. Tackle at the one. Well, I don't see the pass here. Right to his go to receiver. Touchdown, Chiefs. Sanders gets the call against this one, go. Which is why it zings right into the defender's read. He snarfs up here. Yes, snarfs. That's an old football term. <laughs> Tell you what, though, this is a great play. Down and four wideouts. And number one goes right past the coverage. The game. Number 88 grabs the bullet and tries to get free. 30, 25, 15, and touchdown. 
nice pressure that time. Third down, both wideouts to the right. Number nine hurls in the wild right side, and they get the first on third and long. Number 87 brings down the lob left side, and that's a touchdown. All right, Dan and Peter, a very interesting first half of football thus far. We'll get back to you in a bit. First, Let's welcome everybody to a special Super Bowl edition of our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. Now let's take a look at the halftime stats. And boy, look at the difference in rushing yards. The Eagles are certainly losing because of it. It's hard to win when you play like that. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. Number 87 ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. That set up a 46-yard field goal. The Chiefs strike first and go up by three. The Eagles answer right back. Smith was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 68-yard touchdown for the Eagles. The Chiefs now early in the second quarter. Chiefs behind by four. Number 15 connected with his man on this one. Again, they take the lead and go up by three. The Chiefs still in the second. Number 87 is going to come up with a big play here in the deep ball. Have a look. A 32-yard play that set up a Chief touchdown. Chiefs up 17 to seven. Number 21 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Chiefs still midway through the second. The Chiefs on offense at the 27. Number 23 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Eagles, after getting an interception, Eagles losing by 10. Number 88 came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. They climb back into the game, now down by three. The Chiefs late in the second quarter. Number 15 is back. He's pretty much locked in on his wide receiver. He hits a 57-yard play that set up a Chief touchdown. And that's where we'll leave this one. Eagles are down at the half, 24 to 14. Today's halftime hero has turned in an incredible performance thus far. Number 87 has taken over this game. There, but this may turn them around. First down, 10 yards to go. Number 11 will get the carry on first. Number 15 throws this one land. It's knocked down at the line in 10 yard line. Number one unloads this to the right sideline and it's number one on denial there. Second down coming up. Number one puts his arm into this one, and it's complete at the two punch here. I wonder if it's go time for him. Sanders dodges this one. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. Number 15 unloads this to the right sideline, and it's complete for the first. Light pass the coverage, and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Number 10 gets the call on first down, and heads up field. Number seven with a 21-yarder and it's up through the goal post. Well, pretty unusual to not call his name for this. Number one throws a heater and it falls incomplete. They will turn the ball over on down. Reed came in and got a hand on that football. Dan, I want to point out something on that last play. Did you notice the job he did in letting the play clock wind all the way down before snapping the ball? That's good clock management. And this one is in the books. A couple class acts down there. Great coaches. And there is our Super Bowl <laughs> MVP. Right, right, oh, and he right. deserved it, Dan. What a performance. All for you. Congratulations.
know, Dan, that is such a great feeling. Let the party begin, baby. And there it is. It's official. Well, that wraps it up for this year, Peter O'Keefe, along with me, Dan Stevens. See you all next year. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Great work as always in bringing this one to us. And welcome one and all to our extra special Super Bowl edition of the ESPN video game post game report. I'm Chris Burr. The Chiefs stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number 11 let his big old offensive line pave the way on this one. Number 43 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Eagles trailing by 10. Number three found a soft spot on the defense and have worked to his advantage. They climb back again and are now down by three. The Chiefs come right back. Number 87 emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. That set up an easy 22 yard field goal. And that's where we'll leave this one. Chiefs win and they're the world champions. It started way back, 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 back in September. And now it's in the history books. Your final score, 27 to 21. Now let's take a moment to speak to our player of the game. Number 87 is down on the field with Susie Calder. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You gave an outstanding effort and you won a close game today. What do you think was the critical factor in getting the W? Man, defensively, our DBs did a great job today. They did well on coverage and providing good run support. This is really a good game for them. Back to you, Chris. That does it for our coverage of the Super Bowl on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourself. See you next time.